What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a G Fuel manipulation advertisement. So guys, this is the advertisement that I will be making in this video. I think it's going to be sort of a long video, you can probably see by the time, but I'm going to try and cut it down at two short pieces and hopefully it won't end up too long. Anyways guys, to start off, all you have to do is head over to File, New, and uh, you want to copy down this width and also this height. So the width is going to be 1300, the height uh, 1010, and the resolution set to 200. Make sure it's on pixels, and then once you've done that, just hit OK, as you can see there. You will get a blank document, and the first First thing you want to do is head over to the corner where it says background, just click that little lock icon so it changes to an editable layer, just double click on that layer, go to color overlay and select a full black color, hit ok, ok again and now you can get started with the advertisement. So the first step is to head over to this website, I will leave a link to it in the description down below, it's called Wallpaper Craft. Um, I'm using this image, it's just an ice sort of water image, I really like this and it works really well with the blue ice flavour of G Fuel. You can use whatever you want, I made a uh, tropical rain one in the same sort of style as this. So you can do whatever, I'm going to use this for blue ice, so I'm just going to right click this, press copy image, go back to Photoshop and then just press Ctrl and V on your keyboard and as you can see here it will be the perfect size, I just kept it like it is there and um, now you can start actually adding the G Fuel tubs and also the text. So after that you want to type in G Fuel Blue Ice or whatever flavour you are using and then just get the PNG, you don't want the one that says on sale on it, so just go for the second one, right click it, go to save image as and then just save it wherever and now you can just drag and drop that into your document and you will have the G Fuel tub. As you can see it's quite low quality, all you need to do is just go to the layer over here, make sure it's rasterized so right click go to rasterize and holding control T and also holding shift just make this a little bit smaller I'm gonna stop at around about there just center that and now you want to keep that tub there even if you're not gonna be using that layer and then it just press control J and now is the time you can put this anywhere you want on the river so I'm just gonna uh, once again press control T make this smaller and I'm gonna place it around about here so let me just change the sort of size of it I think that looks good and the tip to actually make it look like it is in the sea is really simple all you need to do is grab your eraser tool and then just erase out the bottom parts make sure it sort of looks like it's in the sea as you can see here so we've got the water coming over it that looks really really nice and one other tip that I do use is make a brand new layer uh, go to the brush tool uh, make the brush size around about six, yeah, 69 pixels that's fine that's what she said <laughs> and then uh, just make sure the color is black and now you can just add this to uh, the actual tub itself sort of just like a brush line it's as simple as that and then just go and create clipping mask so it will create a clipping mask effect onto that tub and now you can just lower down that opacity to whatever you want I say around about 50% it doesn't have to be exactly 50 but that's what I think looks good anyway so now what you want to do is go back to that original tub just press ctrl J once again enable the layer and now you can add this tub somewhere else onto the design I'm not gonna be using the other design for a reference so I'm just gonna add it somewhere else uh, let me just add it over here instead and as you can see um, you need to sort of change the sizing of it to make it look like it's actually got the right perspective and then just grab your eraser tool once again and then just erase that out uh, uh, maybe, maybe we can use a little bit of a lower um, size eraser so there we go uh, let me use around about 44 pixels that's fine and then just erase that out make sure it looks like it's in the snow that looks really nice and then do the exact same thing so make a brand new layer go to your brush tool and just add that black brush effect right there and then just create clip and mask and change the opacity of this to once again 50% and then guys once you've done that just press ctrl J on the original tub once again and now I'm just gonna add a final one I did it over here I believe so I'm just gonna change the sizing of this and add this tub over here so I'm gonna add that there grab my eraser tool once again and then just erase this out make sure it looks like it is in the sea and once again make a brand new layer and just grab your brush tool and add that black stroke again 
create clipper mask and then lower the opacity of this once again to 50% and it just adds that detailed effect. Taking a look at the image as you can see here we added one more over here so I'm going to do that just so you can see that the flavour is blue ice. So go back to your original blue ice tub, once again we're doing the exact same thing and then just hold shift and make this smaller. Uh, you obviously have to press Control T before and then it, you can just sort of make this one look like it's in the sea once again so I'm just gonna actually make that even smaller it's completely up to you you can pause the video and also copy what I am doing but just grab the eraser tool once again and uh, sort of make it look like it's in the sea as you can see it's as simple as that and it looks like it's sort of half underwater and half above the water and then make a brand new layer once again we're going to do the exact same thing grab our black brush tool and then just add that black stroke create clipper mask and change the opacity to once again 50 percent so guys now is the time where we're going to add some text and also add some cc's and things like that so one thing you are going to need for this video is my cc pack version 2 which was actually uploaded the other day so i will leave a link to that in the description down below and also my first layer styles pack as you can see this is the layer styles pack this is the cc pack you will need both of them for this video so now what we're going to go ahead and do is just make a brand new layer at the very bottom just above the main image we can delete that g fuel tub over there now because we don't need that so just make a brand new layer just above the picture grab your rectangle marquee tool over on the side and then just add a rectangle sort of something similar to this i'm actually gonna make that look a little bit bigger so there we go and then just right click it go to fill and uh, just make sure the color of this is selected as black we can change that as you can see here i kept mine black and lowered the opacity so that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to grab this and just lower down the opacity to around about let's say i think 80 uh, percent yeah let's put it on 80 percent that looks good and uh, now what we need to do is go back to Google, just grab our G Fuel logo. So just type in G Fuel logo on Google, make sure it's the first one, the PNG, and then right click, save image as, and then go ahead, save that, and now you can just drag and drop that into your Photoshop and it will have no background on it. Now what you want to do is just decrease the size of this, uh, make it sort of something similar to this, and now what you want to do is just hit enter and we're going to be adding that sort of layer style onto it so we're going to go to our layer styles pack if you haven't got these two packs like i said before just pause the video go and download them a link will be in the description down below so the layer style we are going to use is in column five so just grab your text tool click on this right bottom one over here it's the layer style 5 just double click on this it will open up a layer style blending options and all you have to do is press new style hit ok and ok again and that will be saved into your styles list so now we're just going to go go back to our g fuel add and we're going to go to our logo over here just double click it open up the layer styles once again and scroll down until you see that layer style and as you can see here it looks really nice and now once you've done that you need to type in the blue ice text so you can use any font you want I actually, I believe I used, uh, what was it, Gotham Bold, that was it. So you can use whatever font, I'm using Gotham Bold, uh, link to this will be in the description down below. There you go, let's use Gotham Black. And then we'll just lower down the size of this text to whatever you want. I'm just going to put it over here, that looks good. And we're also going to double click on this, go to our styles once again. And then just select that style we previously had. And as you can see, it makes it look really, really nice and really clean. So now what you guys want to do is add your CC. So we're going to go to my CC pack over here. We're just going to drag and drop all of the CCs into our advertisement over here. One thing you want to do is make sure this layer is at the top and then just open up the group and now you want to add your CCs. So the first CC we are going to add is the CC1. Just to add that and we're gonna change this to 80% opacity. And then the next CC is going to be CC6 and you want to change the opacity of this to 50%. And then guys, what you want to do is go to CC13 over here. Just enable that. It's a really nice CC this. You can keep it on 100% but I just lower this down to 80% just to even the CCs out. And that is all of the color corrections, CCs, whatever you want to call it, that I do add to this advertisement. Now one thing you guys want to do, I do this for all my designs, just make a brand new layer above the CC 
grab your brush tool and change the size of this to around about 1300 that will do make sure it's on full black and then if you press Control and minus on your keyboard to zoom out you can add this black brush effect on the sides of the advertisement once you do this just lower down the opacity of it to around about I'm going to say 14% that looks good and then you want to make a brand new layer once again and do the exact same with a smaller brush so I'm going to grab a 183 brush and just add the black uh, sort of stroke on these sides once again and you want to lower down the opacity of this even more uh, I'm going to put this on around about 34% that looks good I'm going to keep it on 34% and I'm just going to make a brand new layer once again and this is the time where you finish it off with the white brush so make sure you have white as your foreground colour grab your brush tool at around about uh, let's say 1300 size that looks good and then just press control minus once again to zoom out and just hit that white brush effect at the very top of your advertisement I think this makes it look so much better and you can lower down the opacity of this I'm gonna actually put this on 83% that looks good you can copy me or you can do it to whatever you want and now what you want to do is add the finishing touches to this design so first off guys you want to just press shift on the top layer scroll down press shift on the bottom layer this will select all of the layers as you can see here and then just press that little group icon in the corner and that will group all of the layers together so now what you can do is press ctrl j and now what you want to do is press ctrl e and then ctrl j once again and now we can go to filter at the top select other go to high pass make sure your radius is on 10 pixels hit ok and then change the blending options here on the right hand side to overlay and now you want to just lower down the opacity of this to 50% I think this looks really really good and now what you want to do is just press control on your top layer control on your bottom layer and then press control E to merge both of those together and then if you press control J once again I know it may be quite confusing but you want to go to filter this time go to blur select Gaussian blur make sure the radius is on 5 pixels hit ok and now what you want to do is grab your eraser tool make sure the size of this is on around about I'm gonna say 150 pixels that's good and then just erase out the tubs in the picture and also the text so just erase out some of the main parts for example the sea or the river whatever and uh, erase out some of the trees you just want to blur out sort of the sides the things you don't want to see too much in the advertisement and then just lower down the opacity of this to whatever you want I'm gonna lower it down to 60% because I think this looks the best so make sure it's on 60% press control on this top layer control on the bottom layer and then press control E once again and now uh, there's a couple more things I'm going to add so I'm gonna press control J I'm gonna head over to filter select filter gallery and make sure here on the right hand side it's on stylize and glowing edges and then just hit OK go to the right hand side change this to overlay and then it just lower down the opacity of this to 15% and now the last and final thing we're going to add is press control once again on both of them press control E and then control J once again now you want to add an RGB split this is completely up to you whether you want to add it but to do this all you have to do is double click on the layer uh, deselect the green and blue one make sure it's on red hit ok and then just using the arrow keys on your keyboard just move it one to the side and uh, you probably won't notice it at the moment but if you press ctrl j once again double click on it this time select green and deselect red press ok and then use your arrow to move it one more time and then just press ctrl j do the exact same thing double click on this change this to blue deselect green press ok and then just move this one last time and as you can see if we zoom in it creates that sort of rainbow glitch effect I think this looks really nice but it's completely up to you whether you do want to add it it's completely up to you if you want to add even more things you can add a design by whatever your name is or it's completely up to you this is just a tutorial on how to make this sort of manipulation effect I think it looks really good on G Fuel advertisements you can use it for whatever you want like I did say before though anyways guys I hope you did enjoy this video if you did follow along and make it this far into the video comment down below hashtag i love g fuel and i will know you made it this far into the video anyways guys like i said before i hope you did enjoy this this has been visual or james and i'm out peace no, no, no.